All right, I'm uh, starting off with a couple of ham hocks and these are cured four hocks of ham or pork and um, <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is get some boiling water into there and boil them off for about 10 minutes then drain that water and then start boiling them again in another cooking liquor um, and that will be spiced and everything so first off I just want to get the boiling done okay the noise you can hear in the background is my kettle going um, so first of all I I put the w the first kettle full of water in there I boil it in the kettle it's more efficient and um, I'm now going to put the second kettle on top of that bring it to a boil for about 20 minutes 10 to 20 minutes so um, I'm bringing it up to the boil. This is the first boil and you'll see the reason why. We want to boil off all those impurities and um, get that up to a rolling boil and keep boiling it for about 10 minutes after that. Total cooking time around about 20 minutes uh, as long as you're starting off with boiled water. So take the boiled water straight out of the kettle so we tip away the first boiling of water and I'll shortly be showing you how I create the boiling broth. Okay that's been on a, a fairly rolling boil like that for about 10 minutes so I'm going to switch that off now and uh, allow that to settle before I drain it and I want to quickly go over the herbs and spices I've got here. So You'll see I've got a, a sprig of rosemary here and I've got some yellow mustard seeds. These are all half teaspoon measures and this is half a stick of cinnamon, two little bay leaves, um, about a teaspoonful of juniper berries, half a teaspoon of uh, elychee seeds, these are green cardamom seeds and half a teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds and half a teaspoon of caraway seeds okay in addition to that i've got a hundred mil glass quarter cup what's that four ounce uh was it two ounce i can't remember uh measure of of cider vinegar and uh, that helps to cut the fat so and it also adds some flavor because as we know boys and girls pork and apples go really well together so I'm going to boil up some more water now to get the pot going again with the proper cooking liquor all right into that goes my second kettle of boiled water try to cover it as much as you can without it over spilling and then into that goes my rosemary my bay leaves my cinnamon stick and all my spices last but not least in goes my cider vinegar right um, you don't need to salt it because there's plenty of salt these are cured ham hocks so um, you don't need to salt it we can adjust for saltiness towards the end of the cooking time what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this down to a low simmer and then simmer it just like that for about an hour and a half right here we are at the end of the one and a half hour simmering time I'm now going to remove those hocks from that cooking liquor and I'm going to take out the ham hocks and then I'm going to cover them in a glaze which is just going to be a very simple mustard glaze and then I'm just going to bake them in the oven for around about 40 minutes. All right that's got them uh, decanted into the baking tray and I'm just giving them a liberal brushing over with uh, just straightforward English mustard that, that will in itself sweeten as it bakes and create a beautiful 
nice crust on the outside of that. I'm leaving the skin on, I'm not taking the skin off. You can take it off if you wish. But most of the fat is rendered off that and into that stock. And that can be uh, chilled and then skimmed off. And use all that mustard up because it's uh, waste not want not. And it does give a lovely glaze, as you will see. Right, the oven is coming up to 180 degrees, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit, so 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and I'm going to stick that in the oven for around about 40 minutes. But I'll check the progress after 30 minutes and see how we're doing. All oh, right, um, so what am I going to do with that stock? I've decided to uh, use cabbage because cabbage goes extremely well with um, cured pork or, or bacon. Um, so I'm going to use some white cabbage. I've got these lovely stringless uh, runner type beans. I've got some spuds. Uh, I've got some carrot, onion, celery, which I'm just going to peel, chop up. But first, I just want to show you a little trick with these bagged stringless beans. So you've got these stringless beans and you've got, and it's the same with all green beans, they come in these packets, and what's that? That's a 225 gram packet. And they're, they're normally stacked end to end and they've got the tail end there. So what I do is I tap them down like that so that all the tails are in the same place and then I can cut them off through the bag very neatly like that. And you can do the same the other end now, turn it over so that they're all lined up neatly. Let's check they are. And then when you run the knife through it now, you've topped and tailed your beans. All right, so those bits go in the trash and you end up with these nice beans that you can work with now. So onwards and upwards. I'm just going to get all this, uh, the rest of the veg chopped up and we'll get back to you. Alright, that's most of my veg chopped up. I've just got to take half of this cabbage now, chop that up and everything goes into the stew pot. So the veggies are already in there and now in goes half of that cabbage. Nicely chopped up. Let's give that a stir. And then all we need to do is bring that up to the boil and then simmer that for about 20, 20 minutes. And then that way your vegetables won't be cooked to death and you'll have all that delicious flavor from the ham hock in there. All right, let's see how these have turned out. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, there's one other thing I want to do to the uh, stock veg, and I'll show you that now. All right, that's simmering away nicely now. I'm just going to add about a tablespoon of tomato paste, and the reason I do that is it just adds a depth of flavour to it, and it gives it some nice colour. Maybe a bit more, a bit another one. So that's two tablespoons, two generous tablespoons of tomato paste. And there's one other thing I want to put in there. And that is a half teaspoon of turmeric. Turmeric's got a lot of health benefits, just look it up. And it also adds a beautiful colour. And quite a nice spicy smell as well, like that. So as you see, we've transformed that into what from what was a rather insipid looking vegetable stew into something entirely more appetizing right so i'm just going to let that simmer for about another 15 20 minutes and then we'll be ready Thank you. 
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.